Alrighty, good afternoon. Welcome to the uh, last remaining session for Friday. Uh, the session's entitled Clot, Shock and Awe in ACS and STEMI Patients. Uh, my name is Simon Dixon. It's a privilege to co-chair the session this afternoon with Isam Musa. So without further ado, I'd like to get started and welcome Paul Gerbel, who needs no introduction. And he's going to uh, give a talk entitled Antiplatelet Therapy and STEMI. What is the ideal approach in the emergency room? Thanks, Paul. Well, good afternoon, uh, everyone. We're going to switch gears and go from devices to drugs and uh, discuss antiplatelet therapy. Here are my disclosures. I usually start off a, a talk like this uh, to stress the importance of uh, platelets in thrombotic event occurrence after a PCI. And indeed, it is a platelet-centric problem. So in de novo ACS and when we damage the vessel wall with an angioplasty, the platelets adhere to the vessel wall and they become activated, shown here, and they degranulate. And importantly, they, uh, the granule contents contain uh, ADP. Platelets generate thromboxane A2 and they generate thrombin on their surface. And this leads to sustained 2B3A activation, a hypercoagulable state, platelet aggregation, and platelets, of course, modulate the function of leukocytes uh, leading to an inflammatory state and ischemic event occurrence and stent thrombosis. Now, the drugs that we have to target uh, thrombosis in 2013 include aspirin, which uh, blocks cyclooxygenase 1, P2Y12 blockers, which block the ADP P2Y12 interaction, a pivotal amplification uh, process that sustains platelet activation, and 2B3 receptor inhibitors that block the interaction of fibrinogen with 2B3A. So we're, we'll move on now to uh, the questions. And I have a question for you all. Uh, what is the most potent and fastest uh, platelet uh, inhibitor? So we're going to vote now. You all vote. Do you have your uh, audience response uh, devices? Okay, is there an answer on? Okay, 76% got it right. Thank you, Roxana. Uh, so that's true. Ticagrelor is woefully slow compared to 2B3 inhibitors. So question to you, do all 2B3, uh, all P2Y12 inhibitors have the same basic effect? There's a lot of controversy now. We have three different uh, P2Y12 inhibitors. Uh, so let's look a little bit at, the, at how the